Hello, this is Greg Hanna from GospelMusicUniversity.com, and in this edition of Keyboards, Tips, Tricks, and More, uh, I got a question posted on my wall by Kyron, and he asks, uh, and the question reads, I want to know how to spice up each chord in a simple song like No Weapon by Fred Hammond into crazy extended jazz chords. Interesting, but still keep it okay for someone to sing to it. I know that's asking a lot, but I just want maybe a formula I can use for each note of the scale, or if the progression is similar to this one. Thanks for reading. Uh, Chiron, that's not really asking too much. It's, uh, maybe so, but not, not really. But when we, ask, when we talk about, uh, I'm reading from your, your posting, extended jazz chords. Uh, and then I think you uh, expect you say crazy extended jazz chords. Let me put that adjective on top of it, and but still keep it okay to, for someone to sing. Basically, you want uh, some 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 very nice chords uh, that you can play, but it won't confuse the solos. It don't still sound good. And basically, it's so many approaches to reharmonizations and and to chord changes and being able to uh, to. Uh, do some chord substitutions and, and it's it's unlimited uh approach because uh every season musician can give you a different interpretation uh of you know some reharmonizations but in order to really uh understand the the, the process of reharmonization you know we, we the ear really has to de be developed to a level uh to be able to hear uh the song uh, be able to play the song as is you know from the original recording and to be able to hear and understand the chord changes just off the CD itself because we can't really go and change anything if we don't know how to play it in its original form or if we can't hear the chord hums if you can't transcribe no weapon uh, by ear from the CD and play it as is from the CD then if you're you know you won't be able to have the tools uh or the skills to really take that information and transcribe it so you got to kind of look at the uh the general chord voices for the song and you know let's look at it uh a song i, I believe is an a flat major so let's just look at a flat major scale a flat is one b flat is two c is three d flat is four e flat is five f is six G is seven, and A flat is one. So let's just so sort of look at the A flat scale. We got to look at the chords that the actual chords to the song and the chord progressions based on the chord numbers. Just we got to know uh, theoretically uh, based on the major scale what the song is made of and and how to play it the way that it is on the CD first. So the chord progression for that is uh, a one, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So basically, if you look at the major scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, and you take it backwards, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. That is actually the baseline uh, for this song, and then with the baseline we can construct our diatonic chords those are chords that are used in the notes from the major scale we got to be able to hear it first before we can change it we got to be able to play it first before we can change it so if i you know uh So I'm actually playing the bass line no. form against me, shad, prosper, it won't work. So we got to look at the song, you know, using the chord changes that are provided by the original artist before we can begin to do substitutions. Once we understand the theory of of the song and of the harmony then we can apply some of the general principles of substituting to create some of these extended crazy sounds that you was talking about in your posting so let's look at let's add the diatonic chords to this and if you don't know what diatonic chords are if you don't have good nice fresh rich chord voicings for diatonic harmonies in your vocabulary then you absolutely want to go online and register for my Contemporary Keyboard Harmony 1 course online at Gospel Music University or you can uh, take the course online and save a little money or you can actually order the DVD tutorial 
uh, of that course if you prefer it, uh, the videos on in a DVD format. But it's a little cheaper online, and you can have access to it instantly. You know, and it's uh, so that's a, that's a, that's a twelve week course that would definitely introduce you to diatomic chords. But let's look at the diatonic chords uh, for no weapon. These are the chords that are built from the, the bass line in the key of A flat, only using the notes of the A flat major scale. So here we go. Uh, so it starts. The first chord progression is a one. So no weapon. That's a one seven. So it's like one seven six five four three two three four five six seven one so those are general chords uh diatonic chords that are used on that cd and you got to be able to have just regular rich plus diatonic harmonies first and be able to play using those because just even those chords right there even the original format of the song it's beautiful those chords are great it's wonderful it's uh it's very worshipful is uh you know it has that uh that energy and that feel that really kind of puts you in that mindset of worship and and those chords are great, but you know, we can play that song with some simple chords, make it sound just no weapon formed against me shall prosper. It won't work, no. Those chords will work. They're diatonic chords using the A flat major scale, but you have to go into the extended harmonies where you get into some very rich voices. You know, with a one chord that has some quarter voices and some of the diatonic components of contemporary sound. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. It won't work. No weapon. Okay, so let's take that and let's look at uh, using some other chord progressions to make some alterations. So basically we know that our first series of chord goes from 1 to 7 to 6. Then to a five, to a two, four, then a three, then a two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So let's look at the one, seven, six. Okay. So no weapon, no weapon form against me. So let's look at some other chord voices that we can use in there to get you this crazy extended sound. And this is just one interpretation. There are millions. So we start off with a one chord. A flat major chord, but you know, if you do some other things by adding maybe the six, you know, uh, of that key and maybe the ninth, you, you know, you begin to get some different sounds and some quarter voices on top. So we start. Uh, no weapon. And now let's go form weapon form against me. Okay. Now let's look at what we're doing here. We go from a one to a seven to a six. In the key of A flat, the sixth chord is a minor chord. Okay, in this case, it's some kind of an F minor chord. You know, uh, just I mean, in the key of uh, A flat, if you know your diatonic triads, you know that the sixth chord is generally going to be a minor chord in a major key. So if we know that we're going to a six, we're trying to get from one to a seven to a six. Okay, so let's say we want to get to that six by using some other progressions that are, are, are a little different or unique. I'll, I often talk about in uh, my contemporary keyboard, no, uh, which one is it? My contemporary chord finding learning system uh, and the elements of gospel learning system. I talk about a two, five, one of the six. Okay, and we look at, okay, I, ha I have a one chord in A flat, okay, which is a, some, kind of a, some kind of A flat major chord. You got all kind of beautiful A flat chords that will work some kind of pretty a flat major chord that's altered okay all right so we look at that and then i want to get to the six okay so in order to get to six i can go with no weapon form against me i can go from the one straight to the six but let's throw in some extra changes to get to that six and let's throw in a uh, two five one chord voicing of the six what do i mean by two five one of the six okay six is f minor and the key of a flat is the f minor chord so if we look at the f minor scale One two three four five six seven one seven six five four three two one. Okay, and if I look at a two five one of that of that F minor, F G is two, and then C is five. So we got a two, we got a five, we got a one. Now that two, that five takes me back to the one. So it, let's make that our baseline. Here's my two, here's my five, here's my one. A G, 
going to C, going to L. There are a lot of chord voices for this 2-5-1 progression. The classic 2-5-1 uh, progression in the minor key, a ton of chord voices that you can use. Some of them you're probably already using, not necessarily know what they are. So let's look at it. If we want to go from 1, no weapon, because it goes form, no weapon, form against me. It's automatically doing that, but let's add some other stuff. No weapon, form against me. You can do a 2-5-1 in F minor right here. You know, just right off the bat, uh, those two five one F minus are that particular voice in this in my contemporary chord finding learning system in all twelve keys, because that's another very popular chord progression in the minor key. That's a two five one in C minor. You know, that's a two five one A flat minor. You know, so we need to learn all those in all the keys. You know, so uh, if you don't know those, uh, definitely order the contemporary. Uh, Excuse me, my contemporary core find the learning system, which has actually been reduced $30. It used to be $97 now to just uh, make it available uh, more frequently to musicians. Uh, the new price on that in the catalog at gospelmusicuniversity.com in the store is $67. So let's kind of apply that. There are a lot of different core voices. I can do another substitution for this 251 and uh, F. Here's a 2, here's a 5, and here's a 1. So we can do no weapon against me. We get into some other, other voices now. Or just no weapon form against me. Or no weapon form against me. That's straight. But you can change it and insert that 2511 chord in this 251 of the 6 form against me. Okay, then we can do a two five one of the four. Okay, because we're trying to get to the four. One, seven, six, five. Then we try to get to the four. Okay, so we can use the two five one of the four. In a major key, the four is generally uh, a major chord. So in this case, one, two, three, four. My four is D flat. So it's got to be some kind of pretty D flat chord voicing or some kind of alter D flat chord voicing or something we can use to substitute as a D flat chord, you know. Uh, we go move this on. So there's a lot of different chord voices that we can use, but if we can't hear that bass line uh, uh, just in its pure form, if we can't hear the song with the natural diatonic harmonies, then you will not have an ear strong enough to go transpose and create all these other alterations. So get that foundation and come on, get some beautiful contemporary diatonic chords to work with, just like the ones in my contemporary keyboard harmony one online course that you can play and be able to saturate that sound in your ear for contemporary music. So let me show you uh, just one option. This is a two, five, one. That's a two, five, one uh, progression of the four in D flat. Here's a basic one, two, five, one in D flat. But here's a nice one, two, five, one. So let's let's show you how that works. No weapon. Two five one six form against me shall prosper. So that's a two five one prosper. Then it won't work. You really can't substitute those because they move so fast. It won't work. No weapon form against me shall prosper. It won't work. So you got all these other rich voices. You got the regular, no weapon form against me shall prosper. A regular weapon formed against me shall prosper. Okay. No weapon. Basically, a one, then get you a good two five one of the four, then a great two five one of the six. You know, and, some, and the chord voices. You know, it's, I, I could play a regular D flat major four, but that's not the sound of modern gospel. You know, we're gonna extend these chords and we're gonna come up with some prettier sounds to put you in the presence of God. You know, just by the sound of the harmony. Until next time, if they said you had to be gifted to play gospel music every daily day, don't know my secret. This is Greg Cannon with more tips, tricks, and more from gospelmusicuniversity.com. My time is up. You have a blessed day.